I am sick and tired of stupid answers for my AI. So this is deep conf, which is deep thinking with confidence. I do think this is a breakthrough. The quality improvement that I'm gonna show you today on the same model, same seed, running just the stock VLLM versus the deep confidence modified VLLM is substantial. And I think you're gonna see it also. We're gonna be using GPT OSS. We're not gonna be using the 120B. We're gonna be using the 20B. And we're gonna look at things like it's claiming here about token efficiency. We're also gonna look at the quality of the answer we're getting to a couple of questions. Definitely the coolest part of this is that it works with all existing LLMs. That These tests that I'm gonna be running are of course, as always, non-scientific, not presented as scientific, but we do have the seed pinned. So I've got VLLM over here as container 102 and VLLM over here as container 103. The difference? This one I compiled from source and is running the deep thinking with confidence upgrade, which is like only 54 lines of code. But what it does is pretty impactful. So it kind of pre-qualifies what's going to make it to the finish line by dropping early instead of dropping late the threads that don't reach a specific confidence interval. All the links to this down below. VLLM is out there asking what people think. Uh, so this is definitely something if you have followed along with the recent VLLM guide and you want to get up and running, you can just build this other alternate one from source. If you got enough GPU resources, you can run two models at the same time. Like we're going to be running the GPT OSS 20B with the full context window, pin seed 42069 today for our testing. But you can give feedback what you think about this. I intend to give some feedback about what I think about it. There is definitely a ton of information about this. All of that, like I mentioned, link below. Do check that out. And if you are looking for how to get up and running with VLLM, then you can follow along with the prior guides. You're not just going to want to follow along with one prior guide. You're actually going to need to follow along with all of the guides to get up and running with VLLM. They're presented in a specific format that makes the ability to do things like we're able to do today, be rapid with testing something that launched on VLLM, a possibility for you as a home LLM local AI enthusiast. So let's take a look at random counting and parsing. One of my favorite stumpers, which consistently doth stump. So we'll check this one out and see if it can get this one correct. So right here we can see this is wrong on the left. The vanilla GPT OSS 20B got this incorrect. And that is because the third letter is not I, it is R. The one on the right didn't get it correct. The thought process was actually shorter on the right-hand side. And on the left-hand side, this is actually something that we see where it overthinks. This is what I'm talking about when I said there's an improvement in quality. So 409 total tokens on that versus 731 tokens. So more tokens doesn't necessarily mean you get a better answer. The branches being selectively pruned earlier does mean you get a better answer. That right there. That right there is exactly the kind of improvement that some cracked math nerd just came up with that really changes the game. That makes everything better across the board. The quality improvements I'm definitely seeing just in the real world test set of questions that I typically ask. And I also saw a fairly decent difference when I ran through the flippy block as far as the quality of the two. So we're gonna check that next. I think this one's pretty interesting. It's like the quality got a step better. Now, is it the step between a 20B and a 120B? Absolutely not. But given that you already want to optimize for the biggest model you can run, this is an improvement for that biggest model as well. So I haven't had a chance to check that out yet, but I definitely wanted to, this morning when I read this, get a video out here that showcased, you know, what this looks like, because I think this is actually really interesting. So this one here, you can see we got 4,305 total tokens on this. On the other one, we got 4,163 tokens. So let me go ahead and copy these code blocks and we'll start playing the Flippy Bird by going with the, the normal version of it. And yeah, so this is what happens 
uh, quite often when I run GPT OSS 20B and ask it the flippy block question. Does not have pipes. And that's a big problem, of course. That means that it's essentially just a very poor failing rendition of the video game. Next, let's check out with the deep confidence modifications here that this is just 50 lines is just what's crazy. Let's check it out now. Yeah, you can see the difference is substantial. And this is actually playable. Whereas so many of these are almost unplayable, this one is actually fun to play because it is not insanely fast, the spacing's not super advanced, the gravity is, it's just better code. The quality just improved. And this is very consistently what I'm seeing with this update. This is really exciting. So this is the repo you can pull it from and build from source. So I hope to read your comments below. Definitely, if you can get this up and running, take the chance, drop your comments on VLLM's uh, GitHub about what you think and what you're observing. I am not certain about the token efficiency myself, but what I am certain about is the quality improvement. So is this a God mode upgrade for your LLMs? It definitely seems like the base level IQ of the LLM from prior has increased. That's my actual, I, I, completely unscientific, but that's just the feel that I get from it. It doesn't feel like I'm getting something that should just obviously be disqualified as a bad answer as often. That's a huge improvement for LLMs because you get quite a few bad answers that it's like, you shouldn't have even considered that as an answer. Oftentimes reading through the chain of thought is very enlightening because you can see that it had the right answer early and then it just kind of talks itself out of it. So by getting rid of those poor potentials earlier in the process, our chains of thought are better. So many things I don't know about this, however. I mean, hour and a half or so of runtime on this, and that includes making the video here. So probably about 30 minutes prior of running this, that definitely is not a big enough sample size for me to say we have a breakthrough. It is really something that I see as solving possibly one of my biggest core complaints around why did that dumb answer even possibly get through? If we actually can see this hold in a lot of other models also, which at this point, I don't know. I do read that it's supposed to, but I'm not sure if it will have the same impacts in say a Quinn as we saw in GPT OSS. It doesn't seem like it shouldn't, but that's also a statement that I don't think is really easy to make. Now this is a change to VLLM of just 50 some lines of code also. Super impressive, huge hats off to the team that came up with this. Kudos on the great work, the amazing effort, and getting results that really could be impactful across the board to everybody who's using AI locally or in the cloud today. These kind of quality improvements really change the game. Look forward to reading what you have to say about this in the comments below. If you're looking for how to get up and running with VLLM, you need to follow the two guides that I've got here. The first guide is setting up OpenWebUI, Olama's included in that also, but OpenWebUI was the chat interface you saw me using. And then the second guide is setting up Llama.C++, where we're gonna do a bunch of CUDA installation that you need to have in place before you're able to install VLLM. Of course, after that, follow along with the VLLM guide that we've got. That will get you where I'm at today. And that is one of the reasons that I went about setting up things in the way I set them up. And as always, I wanna give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you for everything you do for the channel. Have a great rest of your day.